Hello there everyone and welcome back. I like to think things are starting to turn around, or at least all three of those matches had some real promise. I just let myself get starved out by constantly getting my fourth denied over and over again, or maybe I wasn't greedy or early enough with it. Never mind the fact that I could have possibly won that Zerg matchup with a Warp Prism, even though the Corruptors could have potentially killed it. With a little bit more reinforcements, that could have snowballed in my favor just because of the wasted space those Corruptors were serving at that point. So I feel really bitter about forgetting about it, even if it wouldn't have worked out to how I was hoping. Nonetheless, it's like I said, things seem like they're slowly starting to turn around. Especially now that I'm actually getting some StarCraft in on a little bit more regular basis, so... I'm hoping that continues. Let's get this started. Alright, it is go time. We're face off against Daniels, which... Looks like they're in the placement game, so this could either be an incredibly underwhelming match or they're secretly a Masters player and this is their first match back from the last season. That's something we need to be very mindful of. Never mind the fact I never really took much assumptions with the rank anyway, in general. Since we have been having some really weird build orders, it seems like, never mind the fact that some players had really good micro, micro in their army. So there's a, it's a little bit of everything at Platinum rank so far, and I don't want you to run off there. Not yet. Not a big deal, thankfully. I'm just thankful I caught it in time. But we are facing off against Zerg, so the traditional build is what's required here. Get the gate, get the wall off, get a nice little opening, and see what they're up to. Ideally. And then play it by ear. I'm basically going to be watching down here for a hatchery spawn so that way I can plan if I get a cybernetic score or not. Or ideally if I need to put as many probes on the gas as I would like. Maybe I'll put two on there and then I'll need to remember to put a third in. Nope, never mind. We're not gonna find out so let's just haphazardly do it in advance. Just to be safe. So hatchery is down. Everything is as it should be so far. And that was hatchery before. Ah, dang it, that's a bit of a shame. I was a little bit distracted, needless to say. And I walked right into that. Although I see the gas there, everything's out is basically as it should be. It's just a question of when they get their second gas. So I'm not going to send an art probe out. I'm basically going to use my oracles to help with that regard. Only thing I'm uncertain about is if they're going to get like more than like four lings. That would signify maybe some kind of aggression. There's a possibility for it, but we've seen the timing for a spine pool, we know the opening, so I'm right now I'm perfectly safe. I just gotta be on top of my build order, which includes this pile that needs to get built. For obviously hiding a Stargate if I can get so lucky. Oh, perfect time for the assimilator. Now, wall off. Get my adepts building, because we're going to need to get them built quick. They are going to be slow lengths, but they did build a, a spine pool first, just barely, so the gas, the lings are going to be creeping up soon. So I'm kind of worried about that, to be honest. Just a tiny bit. And once I get the minerals for it, I will get myself a dang uh, star base, or stargate. Although I kind of already do, I'm just doing a bad job spending my resources right now. The shall now this is always the scary part. Not knowing where the lings are, especially leaving that open to be in a flank. But this will force production and punish them if there is none. This is something I need to pay close attention to. I could just lose because of a backdoor attempt, let's be serious. Alright, that's going to force a response there. I just wish I had the poor thing actually going the other way so I could abuse that a little bit better. Now, sentry get in there. Now, oracle. Oh, never mind. I blew it. Just a tiny bit, didn't I? I shouldn't need an extra depth, though. So it is rectified a tiny bit. But I like to believe that prompted it more dang zerglings out of them so they'll be a little bit scared and I, I think tech is most important to me 
if I'm serious, so let's do it that way. Let's scout the main or try to harass the main for that reason. Dimensional strings. Get ready for Research a fourth. And get all my tech and structures going in a moment. I just want to check if there's any links here. Yes, there are. Which is really bad timing for obvious reasons. That was just horrendous timing, but if I can get the damage in, I'm good. Okay, you're doing good damage there, and bailings. I'm a little bit saddened by that, but uh, I would have loved that to have lived, but... Eight drones is no joke. Considering all the links for that attack, too. I just gotta get my game in order and look for the possibility of an expansion. Alright, we'll let this thing live. How much did it only did three? So, not much. I would have liked some adepts, they would have been useful for taking the third, but. I think we're okay. I just gotta get more gateways. Everything's a little bit off. My mineral count's really high, too. And also, gas is not quite fully saturated. Alright, Bailings. Uh, it's a shame. That is a real damn shame. That one force field was not enough. Uh, I could... Damn it. If that force feels a little bit better place, I could have at least delayed it. But yeah, this is part of the reason what happens when all my resources are... Oh boy. It's a lot of worker kills, but I like to think that just trades off there some. Although, I gotta get building. And dang it, my pylon's nowhere close enough. I know I need I I know I need to plug in that pylon there. Which pro well actually there was no gap here anyway. Then I promise. If only I didn't poke out trying to s check around. That would have been a lot more safer for me if I stayed in my main. That's the moral of that story. If I didn't lose those adepts, if I didn't lose those extra sentries, none of that would have been an issue. That's what really sucks. Because I want to try and be aggressive to force those kind of lings to, that ultimately do nothing because they hinder the worker economy. But if you try and do it too much or your opponent's just randomly getting aggressive and you have no way to know, that's the result there. So it still sucks. What I would have loved more than anything is to like have some of those banelings hit that gateway, put a force field behind it before it actually kills the gateway ideally. And then the rest of the banelings will have to go somewhere else, or at least get picked off if they truly want to commit to destroying that gateway. And sadly, it was just a tiny bit off. There was a bit, little bit of an opening with that force field, so that still, st that still stings, even how badly that was going. I guess, I guess I should have known it was an aggression of some kind, seeing the banelingness. But that's not too terribly abnormal, I want to argue. Maybe, maybe. All right, Dazeli. You are probably not the same, Zerg. Part of me wonders if it is the same person, but it's a different portrait is all I can tell. So I don't know what to believe. And actually, I want to go there. There. If I remember to use the minimap properly, this will go better for me for location hotkeys. I'm still trying to remember to use the minimap as opposed to just looking at the main screen itself. And it actually makes it look a lot more rough, I would imagine, for trying to watch this video. Still, tiny little tweaks there. I like to think that one adept forced a, re a reaction of some kind. Ah, Poor fella. Hopefully we can give him a good game. I'm kind of not going to try and cheese, even though if I really want to get out of Platinum, I would do really aggressive type of cheesy play, I would argue. I have the potentially the micromanagement to get into diamond, I want to say. 
but I want to try and make these entertain. I want to try and learn my mechanics. Hell, I already gave my reasons why. I kind of am against like all-in type of aggressive plays before in a previous video. So I don't think I need to state it again, possibly. And we already know what we that everything's normal, so get ready with the expansion. All the while, I don't want to get my workers sniped, ideally. That's always a good thing. But if one of them chases me, that's kind of decent as well. I just didn't pay too close attention to the timing of the gas and spine pool, but I'm assuming spine pool was first. Everything looks normal, just keep circling around, get a second gas for the cyber core. And get ready to start building up towards my second gateway, at least to plug in this wall. Really, the second gate's just strictly for the wall off and not so much production at the moment. Oh, oh and I gotta remember pylon. Not the best pylon placement, but I'll take it. Now, another few seconds. And we'll be... See? Now, oh, let's... No speed. No speed, and I want these things going. There. Pylon's built. I want to see how many lings are built. Ooh, my. You built a whole bunch of them, I think. I want to know how many went lings. I'm only seeing two. That's not much of a tell. I was hoping you'd be a little more paranoid. I did mess up my time with the refinery with that obsession I have on his lings. That's one downside to all this. And let's see, you see it, but normally, gate's so normal at this point, I don't think it's a big deal. There, you're getting a little bit scared, which I'm thankful for. You probably could have broke that with like, potentially eight lings as opposed to the usual six. But we're looking good, let's get the economy going. Let's get the saturation opt fixed out. And get more adapts. I didn't see a second gas at any point. And we got our scout back, which is kind of rare, since I don't really aim to have my scout make it back alive. I found the intel a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. So the extra worker is welcome. Now I just gotta be mindful of my gas. Since this, maybe I shouldn't have chrono boosted this thing. Since I'm not going to have the means to afford it. Almost. Never mind the fact that I. Nope, I'm not supply blocked, but I'm going to need another pylon. So thankfully that's working out well. I was a little bit worried I blocked myself again. Well, to be fair, I kind of did. Just on the pylons, so mind you, and not on anything else. I see. Now, I want we to poke out. It is Fine, don't hit the damn thing. You cursed junk. I was hoping to maybe spot around, but... Oh, did I? Damn it, I had... I never had my Oracle on the proper hotkey, so... So that's a shame. At least I could get started. Let's get the... Let's get these going. Damn it. I'm forgetting my train of thought. I'm a little bit paranoid being jumped right now, is what it is. Since you don't really have the energy, we don't have any scouting intel, but we can kill some overlords. So that's your job. Kill all overlords on the map. And just keep scouting. All those three hatcheries kind of give it away anyway, to be honest. Now, single lings, we just gotta be ready to replace that soon with a sell it. Where the hell is my. Damn it. There. That's what I want. I want you to kill those. Yeah, this is not going very well. I am really bad with my oracles this game. It feels like, anyway. And I gotta put this Phoenix in a hotkey so I can control it properly, too. So, get to scouting. Get the charging, 
And get the Templarine, but that's not a Templar thing. And I hope I was on top of my mechanics some. At least I have. I'm oversaturated right now. That's a plus. The threads of Since fate lie bare. This is relatively safe to an extent. And we killed two overlords. No, we didn't kill two overlords. Where the hell the other one went? Oh. You just didn't kill it, you slacker. Someone needs to be taught a lesson. We meet our fate. Damn it! Yeah, I'm really bad with my control there. My oracles are just failing me, and they're so really important for defending these kind of thirds. So definitely not my game in that regard. But what do we have? Roaches? Nope. At least I'm prepared for that. I just gotta get gateways and some pylons to help fuel my war efforts. And some forges will be useful too, since I have way too much resources, simply put. Morals are coming out. Where is my observer? I don't have it in a hotkey, do I? Yeah, that's a shame. Although we already got the intel we want, thankfully. I really do need to flesh out my hotkeys because I'm always using, again, I mentioned it plenty of times already, but I almost always use my mouse 4 and mouse 5 keys for like my scouts and harassing units, but when I have like multiple units for scouting, that makes it almost impossible and that's probably where my issues are coming in. I need dedicated hotkeys for them, kind of like my disruptors, they have their own dedicated hotkey. Let's see. No fourth there. Sadly can't do much about an overseer friend. But we can get Archons, we have gateways out, and I have way too many resources, so you know what that means? We're going on a bit of a spending spree here. We're gonna keep building, we're gonna get ourselves some Archons. Keep an eye out for Hydras since oh there are there are Hydras, just not a lot of Hydras. And now I need a plan. A timing attack of some kind. Since we're on equal bases, I gotta make sure that third doesn't get bit or fourth doesn't get built safely at least. And sadly, my thing did get killed. We killed a couple links, that scared him off. And I think I'm as saturated as I'm gonna be. Almost. Now, all that's left is a warp prism and my timing attack. Now, spending spree. The part on the spending sprees, we get a ridiculous amount of gateways. And I might as well get my fourth at the same time. Well, thanks for that. I, do, I hope you didn't kill a probe. I'm kind of hoping you didn't, honestly, but you may have. And another use of, another use of my oracles would have been those stasis bombs, stasis wars I've yet to really get to use yet. And I would love to kill... Alright. Let's scare him. I want to destroy those things. It's a little bit risky to do. Especially with my position the way it is. Nah, yeah, just... Yeah, because of the way the warping mechanic works, I don't want that. And I don't... I do have High Templar, at least. I just... Well, where's... I need my Warp Prism. Don't tell me I let my Warp Prism die. Where the hell is my Warp Prism? I thought I made one. That would be a shame if it died in this mess. There you are, good god. This is the worst time to try and figure out this crap. So, I am getting thrown off, sadly. But I think we're in position, we have an observer. And we can have a massive army in a moment. I just gotta get ready. For the next phase, which is building my fourth in all honesty. Alright, 
I was hoping to maybe do some damage, but my observer's dead. Actually, no, it's not. I was hoping to do more damage, though. No lurkers, so fine. Oh, they're not lurkers, they're just uh, units. Okay. I saw lurkers before and I worried a bit. No need to worry, we could just kill them right now, I think. Just gotta be ready for the refill. Where's my observer? I have my observer. Oh, really? That is really bad. I forgot you can even do that, to be honest, to an extent, is transform them. Which makes it really awkward in its time of need. So just kill our lurkers, get this over with. And for crisis management, although we are losing bases, but... We have means to get a fourth. Although, the fact that I'm teleporting to my base in the case I don't have enough units for defenses anymore. And we didn't destroy a certain anything note. And of course we have a second prism which really stinks here. And my four cells were not enough to kill it. I was hoping for a little bit. Damn it. This is inconvenient for me. I was... Yeah, if only those oracles would have been nice utility. It was needless to lose them. Now just hold position and kill everything. Now kill everything even more. Although, I failed to build immortals. I kind of tunnel visioned a bit, didn't I? And I was getting ready for cares and did not do anything with it. Uh, I was going good and then I think I jinxed myself, then I? Although I could still get a lot of Archons. This isn't over yet. I am almost out of minerals, so with that said. And did I just leave my cells to die? A little bit, yeah. I don't quite have the... Well, if that's the only base, and I could be able to kill off these roaches and you'll be... He'll be starved out. Immortal, do your thing. Try and do some damage. Oh, and of course, that's like a horrible warping spot. And where the hell are my Archons? I spent... Oh, they die, that's what. Okay. That explains that riddle. Okay, so I had to take care of something in the middle of that, so... I don't think this is looking promising. I could get our constantly stabilized this, um... I just gotta get my Archons and use the Immortal. This is a good opportunity to practice said Immortal play. Don't think we could do the damage to it, but... It might get close. We do have a base going. I need to kill these roaches still. And we got an amazing opportunity to do that if my immortal's up for a task. Although it helps if I didn't miss micro that attempt. Oh yeah. I gotta remember not to control the immortal. I just gotta control the the warp prism. It's good practice, at least. Probably not the most exciting thing, since my opponent's kind of oversaturated. But if I could do damage near it. Well, my moral's still alive. There's that. Alright. Let's kill them. Because we have two cells to give you company here. 
Yep, this might still be good. As dumb as it sounds. I just wish... Well, they were just attacking me, so that's why. And I don't know if you pulled everyone back or not, but... We need to keep building. What do I have left to salvage? Level 3 is unpowered. A lot of gateways are down. And we do have an immortal to harass things with. So with that said, let's get things repowered. Get my upgrades continuing to go. And I only have a lot of zealots. But I am building up gas for more Templar, maybe. So that's something I should look into. And then continue to harass and starve this economy out some. I can get myself in our base. This is bad timing for that, though, sadly. That was really bad timing. I had cells go on in, but... Do I? I don't have enough minerals anymore for a base. So I probably am going to just lose because of this. I still have an immortal, though. Is that helpful? Not really. What else do I have? I have, like, six zealots. And they all have means to kill. Just... Come on. Damn it, that's not what I want. And you're just about to die, aren't you? Yeah, I think this is over. I messed up there. In more ways than one. Yeah, I had really terrible crisis management there for dealing with those uh, run buys. And losing those. Losing the oracles was a big mistake as well. I'm not happy with that. They're supposed to stay alive, mind you, and I messed up with the hotkeys of having observers, phoenixes, and oracles for like two separate hotkeys, so that, mex that messed things up quite a bit too. Ah, uh, well. Let's try for one more. See if I can at least end off on a high note, right? Alright, let's end off with a Protoss Smear match. So, I'm inclined to stick with, like, the Devil Stalkers as opposed to the Depths there. I think I like to feel a little bit better, if I were to be so honest. We'll see how it plays out, though. It has a lot of, of aggressive potential there. Ooh, excuse me. And it's not reliant on my opponent messing up with, like, the Pylon wall, wall off either. Which is how you keep the Adept Phase Shift from getting to your main and doing damage. It's something I'm still going to need to practice, mind you. But I think that's the plan. Is going with the Devil uh, Stalkers first. And it gives me some air protection too. With that said. Now, Assimilator is next. Get that going. Go with Devil Gas, since I am going with Stalkers and they're more gas-intensive. The only difference is I'm going to put two on each one to start off with. And then throw in the third as the minerals start to get saturated. Ideally. Oh, and I forgot to put you in a group, too. So two there. Let's see. Get that going. And we see the probe there, double gate. Just a tiny bit earlier in mind, though. If only slightly. And you're only on one gas. But that's been rectified. Now, pylons built, second pylon. That's important to know for, like, proxy shenanigans. Since if there's not a second pylon here, you can use that as an indicator that they pro may have put it somewhere else. Assuming they haven't forgotten about it, that's the catch. And I gotta get ready to start throwing my extra units in. Ooh, your Cyber Next Core is really delayed. I I just want to punish it for that alone. Just watching. And get the gateway going. I really want to punish that. It feels like it's the smart thing to do. Do I punish with just two gate robo into expand? I think I do. I just gotta deny our scout to make sure that this is clear of a scout first. 
since that cybernex core is so late. And I gotta remember, I forgot a pylon, which is pretty important to note. So I'm not gonna be able to get my third and fourth stalker on timing. But stalkers are going out, they can punish this to an extent, since no cells were even built during this time. Yeah, we just missed out a stalker for the build timing so far. And I think I'm just going to put an extra pylon out here for like a warp in attempt. Not really commit to full aggression, it's, it just allows me to kill these things. Can I kill it? Very well. Almost. Well, that seals the deal there. I am here in the shadows. Now, let's get our expansion going. Well, actually, I don't want the expansion yet. I kind of want to do damage. Which begs the timer on the warp gate. There's stalkers coming out. I took a little bit of hull damage. And I'm just walking my use back so far. Expansion. And some slow stalker spawn ins. Just gotta be careful of this. This could go badly for me. This isn't meant to kill him. This is meant to do damage, especially from that. Just micro and kill. That wasn't what I wanted to aim at, so that was a bit of a big whiff there, giving him an extra shot than necessary. I still need pylons, even though technically... I lost a bunch of units there. This is why the, I need to be better about that. Well, I ended it off on a win. The only reason I committed to that aggression was just because the late Cybernex core. Basically missed out an extra stalker, although I do need to optimize that a little bit better, don't I? I feel like I need that extra pylon on the, in there so that way I can get the third and fourth stalkers in really quickly. At least, not have it interrupt it. But hell, it's a win. It's just an anticlimactic winning. Or, bleh. I mean it's an anticlimactic win. I would have liked something more dramatic and drawn out.